Morning, it's uh, Beetle J, and I hope you're having a Beetle Day. And uh, what we have here is an album that's not particularly rare, but uh, it's uh, the Beatles' rarities. And uh, it's a gatefold album. And uh, we've got a very shocking photo on this side. Uh, this is the third copy of this record I had. I, I originally got it, uh, I think, about 1981. I'm sure it was after John's death. And I uh, was listening to the tracks to see if there was any hidden messages from beyond the grave in this particular record. Capitals Rainbow Label. And uh, this particular record I got for free. It was, uh, there was a lady who was selling a bunch of uh, records. Uh, it was her, her parents' collection, mostly stuff from the early 60s. A lot of junk, but uh, this one was in the pile. So that's uh, one of the uh, cheaper additions to my uh, collection. Anyways, on to the vo voiceover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capitol Records released the Rarities compilation album in 1980, which was a selection of Beatles songs, with the album being inspired by a 1978 early compilation of the same name, which was released in uh, the UK. Uh, the UK version uh, was basically uh, a blue cover, and uh, uh, the label was uh, Apple. Now most of the tracks compiled for this album, the USA version of Rarities, were songs considered rare in the North American market, including selections not previously issued on Apple or Capitol, with alternate versions of well-known tunes, which were not uh, readily available in America. The gatefold sleeve features a reproduction of the original Butcher cover photo of the Yesterday and Today album. Uh, this album was geared towards the USA market, but was also issued in other countries, including Australia, Canada, France, Japan, and New Zealand. When the album was released in 1980, Paul McCartney was quoted as saying that rarities was quite good.